Welcome to Rick's Corner. I want to talk about uh, one of the favorite subjects of bodybuilding is Arnold, because it's usually brought up to me at least five times a week about how we trained and how he trained and how he looks and what he ate. I mean, he's the number one bodybuilder in the world for years, and it's never going to change. Today's bodybuilders look so much different. Um, Arnold always had the wide shoulders and the small waist and tiny waist, and that was the goal of all the bodybuilders from the 50s, 60s, and 70s, to have that V-taper. That's where it all began, to have that broad shoulder and a small waist. And as it got bigger, or moved through the years, and with the current drugs that everybody takes nowadays, everybody has the big thick waist and it's more of a blocky look, which to me isn't near as pleasing as the one he had. He and Draper and Colombo, they all had those unique bodies. In fact, you could put a, a, a block over every one of their faces online, you know who's who. Today you do it and you don't know who's who. They all look the same. But there has also been a lot of things said about him the past couple of years about he's not in shape anymore and there were pictures floating around the internet about him looking really out of shape and I have to be honest that those were taken after he had heart surgery and you know anybody who goes through a traumatic thing like that their body's not going to be the same and you also have to understand he was in a public office as a governor he didn't have time to train or to eat properly that's a very very demanding job and it's not a priority you can't take away from the fact the man had the best body in the world and he won the Olympia seven times he was the best bodybuilder then, and then he became the best actor, biggest box office draw, and then he became a governor. Um, those are a lot of things that, that are credits that this man has achieved, and no one else I know has ever achieved that. And he is what he is. So when people say, oh, he's out of shape and he doesn't look as good, well, we never do as we get aged. You know, in your 30s and 40s, you have a certain look. In your 50s and 60s, things change. I certainly have. I'm not like I was at 35 or 45. And yeah, I feel bad about it, but what are you going to do? You get older and your body changes. No matter how hard you train and what you eat, the body does take over and it ages. And it's going to happen to him, it's going to happen to me, and it's going to happen to you someday. So don't look at these guys and say, oh my God, you know, they fell apart, because a lot of them do. And I've been trying to get a lot of them on Rick's Corner, and a lot of them don't want to be seen anymore because they're a little embarrassed about how they look. Um, you can't keep it up forever, and it's not a priority forever. There's other things in life, your family, your kids, your job that take precedence over just bodybuilding. Even though it is a fun sport and you do carry around and reap the benefits that everybody sees, it's gonna change in time. And that's what happened with Arnold. He got older. That doesn't mean he can't get back in good shape because he probably can because he knows how and he probably will. Now that he's out of the governorship and he's doing what he's doing, I have a feeling he's gonna get back in good shape as best he can. He certainly knows how. You don't lose that muscle memory and it does come back. So I posted some pictures on here of his times when he was at his greatest, and I posted one when he was at his worst. And no disrespect to him, these things happen to people, and it's, it's something you just can't control at the time. There's got to be circumstances why your body goes. But one of them is age. Now, at my age, I train hard. I don't have the energy that I did after workout. I feel a little tired when I did when I was 30. I, well, I was tired then too, but even more so now because there's other things in my life that, that take over. And, and yours, the same thing will happen. So when you see stuff like this, don't right away poke fun at somebody who was the legend and is the legend because that'll never go away. You can't take that away from somebody. He is what he is. And you are what you are. And so what you want to do is you want to be the best you that you can possibly be and train hard and eat right. And if you don't achieve the goals of a, a Mr. Olympia, what does it matter? You still look good and you're still working hard and you still have a good body. So keep that in mind. Now, I also want to add this because this isn't part of what I wanted to do with the video today, but I am letting people know that I am available for personal training worldwide by way of the Internet. Meaning that if you want the training programs that we had back in the 70s when guys had the greatest bodies and the diet and you want it specified to your needs and to your body type and to your injuries and your capabilities, I will schedule that for you. What you have to do is go to my website, rickdrayson.com, go to personal training and sign up send me your stats, send me a photo, send me your workout and your diet, what you're doing currently, and let me know what you want to achieve, and I will change it according to what you need. And I'm available 24-7 to talk to you. You can email me about your workouts. If you don't like this exercise, you want to try another exercise, and every month I will do a complete change on it because you have to change in order to make results. Now, I charge 50 bucks a week, 200 a month. That's cheap. Most personal trainers that don't nothing will charge you 65 to 175 an hour. Well, I'm making this affordable, I'm making myself available. There's only a few of us left from the 70s of the golden era that know what we did, and there's, a, there's workouts that these guys today can't even think of that we've done. So it's worth your time to take advantage of me while I'm still here on this earth, because who knows, a lot of my friends are gone. They've just popped off over the years, and you know, no one lives forever. So take advantage of it. Go to rickdrayson.com and click on a personal training, and sign up. 
I'll put you through a program that will give you a good body. It will be the body you want to achieve, and it's personal. And thank you for watching Rick's Corner, and thank you for being a supporter. And stay tuned for the next round because we got more coming your way on Rick's Corner.